Hello everyone, thank you for um, taking a moment to see how you can help us collect an umbilical cord blood sample. So I'm in the dirty utility room in maternity and I have a cord that was from this morning. Um, when we collect a gas on all our babies, we always take a segment of cord and um, take it with a blood gas kit and um, bring it down to um, the lab so that can be processed and there's times where we might not be able to do it and your help would be so appreciated. So here's a cord segment. In the drawer here you will find our cord gases so that is what you'll need as well and as you can see I am wearing goggles and you do want to do that because sometimes there's pressure and it can spray up so please make sure to wear the goggles which you will also find in the drawer. So if it's really covered in blood you can just kind of also just wipe it down and if you see closely here there's the one big umbilical vein there's one big umbilical vein and then very small umbilical arteries there's two of those but you just want to kind of find those two as best as you can and if you can't see them both please do not worry just do the best you can the umbilical vein is always easy to find um, so just do your best and whatever you get is so appreciative I'm going to open up my gas kit here. There's two, one for the vein and one for an artery. So before I begin, I'm just going to make sure I have no air. So to expel any air that's in the syringe. And take off your thing. And now you do want to go with the bevel down. So I want to go down so that I might not puncture the posterior wall as I go in. So I'm going in at 45 degrees. And then as I get in, I'm pulling up blood. If we can get up to one mil, that is great, um, but even 0.5 is doable. So whatever you can pull up. So here you can see the umbilical vein is really giving me a good amount, which is great. I'm getting a full amount there. So I'm going to just release that, close that off, take that off. And now before I put the cap on, I just want to tap down. You don't want any air in the line. So just make sure you get all the air out. There it goes. And then just bring it up just to make sure there's no air and then put the cap on. I would also just do about 10 rolls just like this. And then there's two labels. I know this is the venous. So I'm going to just put the venous sample on like so so I don't get them mixed up. So there's my venous sample. Now I'm gonna go for my arterial. Again, make sure there's no air. Bevel is down. And now here and I'm gonna just try to get into that umbilical artery that is a little bit smaller and can be a little bit trickier. So I'm just getting a little splash here right now. Um, I'm going to try in another spot because that one is just not going to provide what I am needing. So I'm going to take another look. I've got another artery right here. Let's see if I can get a bit more blood. Just enough to, there we go, I'm getting a bit more. Push it off so that I have just blood in there. Again, cap it. And then here is your artery label and put this on so now in the newborn chart you will find a lab rec that's already completed you just have to put the baby stickers and um, and put the time the date and your initials that you've collected and you also want to do the same on these two pieces the time date collect it and put the baby sticker on the back of these um, you can do a roll roll them just to kind of just make sure that everything is kind of well circulated. If you can get these off to the lab, so what you want to do is at the nursing station there is newborn charts that are pre-bundled and there you'll find a lab rec that says blood gases. Just put your name, the time, the date that you have done that. The same on these, put the baby sticker on both of these samples as well with your date and your name and the time you've collected it and bring it down to the lab to put in their unprocessed fridge section. So that is how to collect cord blood gases and thank you again for helping.